just waking up in the morning got to thank god i don't know but today seems kind of odd no barking from the dog no smog maddie cooked the breakfast with no hog so another mission today um hopefully by now i've been getting these videos out wrong truck wrong car great so uh, another little mission today i guess you could call it hopefully as i mentioned a minute ago hopefully by now i have produced more videos because i'm getting to the point where i need to edit the stuff that's on there i've got like three or four and as you know if you don't record then you don't have content to edit and if you don't have content to edit you're back in the same place without producing videos so um the timeline of events friday was a great day kind of laid low saturday had big plans for just a bunch of little things and the main thing was the video um hopefully you've watched where we set the lift up so i think i concluded that just at the point where it was starting to get dark and tony was ready to roll out fitz magic rolled out and things were good so everything went okay um today's the first day after the lift's been up went out to the shop not super early today but you know went out there and got some things done got some things moved um the shelf that tony had suggested that i move i'm glad he did because it just would have been real tight in there and you know once that thing is mounted down it's there's no real moving it unless i unless i move that other big shelf which i don't want to do because it has all my magazines on it and those magazines have moved i don't know if i've ever talked about this the magazine collections moved hmm, smaller it moved from my parents house to the original place i moved out to which was with my friends adam and vanessa they had a four bedroom house and i rented a spot that's where the s10 was originally taken taken apart then they moved you know smaller collection but still a collection they moved from there to with our friend russ gano who i lived with um when he first bought a house he had a three bedroom house and he was looking for you know roommates to you know supplement the rent or whatever back in the day and that was fantastic we were all mini truckers chris russ and i and then um when i bought my house they moved from there to my house and my house had a little it still does it has a nice little storage area and that's built into the house uh, and that was my little shop i mean it was like a jail sale but i had it organized about it the best it could be based upon the shelves that were in there and the amount of stuff i could fit in so anyways you know the magazines then were there for a while a couple of the ones on the bottom it was not a good idea because it looks like no can i thought it was an animal trying to get across the street it was a beer can but the magazines that were in my little shed i tried i think at one point i had them sitting on the concrete which wasn't good so the bottom issues got messed up i recently replaced one of those um, it was a mini truck and that had the blue toyota pickup on the cover from japan that had the sick flames that's still around it has a chop top that issue was the worst issue and vic recently hooked me up with his and I appreciated that because it replaced that one. But anyways, I say all that because then the magazines from my little shop area, once I got the building put up, then I moved them in there. They were sitting on pallets and then I finally broke down and I went to Sears before they were non-existent. And I bought one of the Gladiator shelves. So that's the long long of that story and those shelves that i've kind of shared photos sometimes i think maybe a quick glimpse that's where all my magazines are at i think in the video i mentioned something about that but the gladiator shelf that i have is fantastic that's where all the magazines reside and um you know a lot of you know all the mini truckings are in binders and all that but anyways i don't want to push that down based upon where 
that leg is for the uh, lift. So, anyways, Tony, thanks to him, he suggested I move it. I did. So, kind of organizing things. I do, that's one of my favorite things to do. I do like to organize, but I do procrastinate sometimes on the organization, and that's when it turns into a shit show, right? So, instead of procrastinating this time, I actually went out there cold or cool Florida morning and started hustling to try to get some of that stuff that just got moved or thrown here or thrown there, just start trying to organize it, get a few things out, a couple things I got to give to Tony, blah, blah, blah. That takes me to what I'm doing right now. So Veterans Expressway and going to a spot to meet up with Joel Crookshank. Now Joel is NC Florida. He's got the killer Toyota that parked in our booth at the toy drop, which was back on December 5th, I believe, in Orlando, right at Deserland. I've since learned that it's not Deezerland, it's Deser. I think at one point the guy did go by Deezer, but according to the at the latest Adam the Woo video from the behind the scene tour there, um, the main tour guy said that he goes by Deser, so it's Deserland. But when we were out there December 5th, Joel parked in our booth. He was telling us he's getting ready to blow this thing away. I'm like, man, this thing is already nice. He goes, no, we're going next level with it. And sure enough, the next weekend or that week, I think it was cab off, everything torn down. So pretty cool stuff. But Joel and I have been talking to the same guy, Jeremy. And by the time this is posted, you know, we would have already done our live video. We would have had probably Jeremy on. I don't know if I'll get this out within a week, but Jeremy Bumpus is old school mini trucker. He's on the TV show Carfix. And uh, Jeremy is uh, kind of helping to do his part to put minis at the forefront, which I think is uh, what I think is phenomenal. And what I mean by that is with him having the access that he does to the TV show and he's building this, you know, he already built this Ford Maverick, that's allowing him to kind of pull some of the, the puppet strings to go, hey, Let's, let's do a little bit of cruising. Let's show these mini trucks. You know, let's try to get people hyped about them. And uh, we are going to be taking a few trucks down to their filming spot. Now, because of COVID restrictions with them and their production facility, we won't really get a chance to do any behind the scenes stuff that day. However, uh, one person per truck, and we've got a few people lined up. Uh, thanks to Joel and uh, thanks to Jeremy for linking up, you know, and, and giving me the opportunity. And then he was also in contact with Joel. Joel's truck is blown apart, but you know he was able to line up some some other trucks, which is going to be fantastic. I'm going in between two Amazon vans, one on each side. It's kind of crazy. It's like literally, I felt like I was in the Matrix. Maybe not, but. Um, so big ups to Joel. I'm going to meet Joel. We're going to do a quick promo video um, for the upcoming episode. Now, it just ironically happened. Um, I guess I did try to line it up, but I wasn't really thinking about it. Um, I knew that we were going to, that because Jeremy wasn't feeling well, it got, the production got pushed back a week. So instead of us going this past Friday, we're going this coming Friday to do, I guess you'd call it I don't know, from a movie perspective, we call it principal photography. You know, they're they're basically recording. They'll be rolling that day once they finish some of the interior shots they need to do inside the facility. Then they'll come out, they'll do some of the cruising shots. The minis will be involved. But um, today we're going to do a promo video. We're going to talk about the fact that Jeremy's going to be on the episode dropping Friday, which is ironically the same day that a few of us are going to take our trucks down to the location and be a part of the filming. So how quickly they turn stuff around, I do not know. I don't know if we're talking, it's gonna be, I'm, I'm guessing this season. I don't know, you know, anything where they are in the number of episodes and things like that. But all I know is it's a cool opportunity for us, especially with some of these TV productions uh, being in our backyard, so to speak. And, and I always kind of thought that based upon the facade of some of the buildings and this and that, but it was never 100% sure, but now I am. So more to come and 
you know, Jeremy, this episode, I, you know, I say this a lot, this, you know, this episode's good, man, this is fun. It's a lot of fun because I, I didn't, sh I didn't really write down a lot of questions to ask Jeremy. I knew what I wanted to ask him, but what's cool is Jeremy has a connection to like baseball. He talks about, you know, how his career changed and now how he's building trucks that, I mean, he's, he's got a full blown hot rod shop that his wife manages and, you know, he'll talk about that, but the cool thing is that he did pretty much everything on this truck. Like, I mean, he, he's a, he's a true skilled guy. Uh, he can do plenty of things I can't do, uh, which is anything on a vehicle, you know, other than take it apart. <laughs> but th dude, this guy is legit, too legit to quit and uh, really excited about this one. So I'm going to cut this video short and uh, go back to listening to some ice cube. You know, I started off with just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God, I don't know, but today seems kinda odd. No barking from the dog, no smog, definitely no smog. Maddie cooked the breakfast with no hog because she went to Dunkin' Donuts, right? So she didn't cook, there was no hog. I got a call from a, you know, a girl, of course, I don't wanna say what's gonna happen later. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping I'll live another 24, we'll see, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to all the, the real deals out there. We've been losing a lot of people, but I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna keep on trucking, keep the pedal stopped, get sideways, and I gotta get my ass to edit the rest of these videos. Shout out to everybody that likes, subscribes, comments, shares, you name it. Gotcha. Yo, yo, we got Joel Crookshank, right? Yep, that's it. Dude, Joel's here, Negative Camber, Florida. We recently linked up with Jeremy Bumpus from what show? Carfix, Motor Trend TV. Now, we're in the trucks, though, right? Yeah. Hey, cars, trucks. It's all good. What's cool is Joel was telling me recently, we saw on social media, the Hot Rod Shop MS, Jeremy Bumpus. He's building a Ford Maverick, brand new one. Everybody's seen it. Bright blue, graphics, billets. Everybody's seen it. Not many people knew who actually built it. Yeah, so minis are on the rise. And what's cool is um, I do believe that people are really enjoying the new uh, Ford Mavericks. I was I was a little unsure, but I think his is going to be one of the biggest kind of full builds, so to speak. We've seen a couple come out, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I can see a couple of Mavericks get built, but this one just seems to be blowing up. Everybody's sharing it just because it's, it's a little bit of old school flavor on it. And He's done a hell of a job, come to find out. Guy's an old mini trucker. Yep, so we got two quick things for you, right? Number one, uh, this week on Friday, Jeremy Bumpus, old school mini trucker who we're talking about, he's gonna be on the podcast as the primary kind of title guest. But also, we're gonna be going down there on Friday for... You're gonna be doing a little cruise video as the episode is ending. They're gonna pull the Maverick out, completely done. Jason's gonna be bringing out the legendary Bada Bing. Got a buddy Scott bringing out an LS powered Mazda. I'm sure everybody's seen it. And then Timmy from Acrophobia just redid his Toyota. It's going to be right there with him. Three clubs. Of course, Scott, V6 Scott. He's petitioning for NC. Big ups to the homie. Shout out to NC. Of course, I'll be repping ST. And then we'll have Acro in the house. Three yep. awesome clubs in the state. But uh, make sure you check out the podcast, our lifestyle podcast, via any podcast app. Just search OLP. And make sure you check out Jeremy Bumpus. I think it's the Hot Rod Shop MS. Yep. Great dude. Yeah, and he's, we're excited. He's cool as hell. It's going to be a good video. Um, I'm sure you'll be posting plenty from that shoot. It's a it's a quick little thing, but his big thing was he's got a chance to get mini trucks back in the limelight. In the so limelight. we called. I called up everybody I could and lined up everybody I think I could get done. Like Biggie said, in the limelight because I rhyme tight. All right, y'all. We at you. Yeah. Peace.